for lots of artists out there, they get a record deal and they somehow think they've won the lottery, the race is over, I am done, now everybody else will handle this for me. Um, that tends to be more uh, fiction than fact. You guys, yeah. both of you had previous record deals, uh, correct? Yes. Yeah. And they didn't work out. Talk about that and what, what inspiration or, or, or knowledge it provided you for the second go round. Well, you know, it, it's, it's kind of a, a cliche trope now, but really you learn more. And I know I personally have, you learn more from your failures than you do from any success. So like, I, I see it now as all the work I did before that, you know, it didn't pan out the way I wanted. It was just like a stop on the road to doing it the right way, the way we're doing it now, I think, you know, where we've learned from our mistakes and like, you know, when you get into business with a label, you know, you some people do erroneously think that, uh, you know, okay, we can sit back and, and they're going to do all the work. But no, that's not how it works. You have to work even harder, you know, and you and nobody's going to be more interested and dedicated to your career than you. Nobody. There's other artists on the label. There's all kinds of stuff going on. There's politics involved. You know, you have to stand out still continually again and again. And, uh, you know, you know, everybody... I think failure does breed success. Absolutely, 100%. I think you need to fail to succeed. I really do. Uh, I, we, I couldn't agree more with you. And, I, and I've had, I've been around long enough to have a whole freaking mountain full of failures, you know, but uh, the winning sometimes clouds your judgment of what's working and what's not. It's very easy to kind of get lost in the thin air of success.